What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. In this video I want to talk about hydrocarbons and their types and classification, their states, their usage and also the sources of hydrocarbons. So first of all, let's see what does that mean when we are talking about hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbon is an organic compound consisting of carbon and hydrogen only. Hydrocarbons are the simplest form of organic compounds and they can be in, term, in the form of straight chain, they can be in terms of branch chain and also cyclic molecule. So we can classify hydrocarbons in terms of aliphatic and aromatic hydrocarbons. And aliphatic hydrocarbons also they're categorized as alkane, alkenes, alkynes and cyclic compounds. The first one which is called alkane is called as saturated hydrocarbons and the other three is going to be called unsaturated hydrocarbons. What does that mean when we are talking about saturated hydrocarbons? Saturated hydrocarbons are simplest form of hydrocarbon and they are composed entirely of single bonds and they are all saturated with hydrogen atoms. The formula for saturated hydrocarbon is CnH2n plus 2 and they are bases of petroleum fuels and they are found as linear and branched compounds. Examples of alkanes are methane, ethane, and propane. We will discuss about it in details later on. And on the other hand, we have unsaturated hydrocarbons when we are dealing with one or more than one double or triple bonds. When we are dealing with double bonds, we are dealing with alkenes. And when we are dealing with triple bonds, we are dealing with alkynes. And sometimes when we are dealing with the ring, we call it cyclic compounds. We also have some kind of aromatic ring and that's why they are classified as aromatic hydrocarbons, which one of the most common aromatic hydrocarbon is benzene. So as you see here in these slides, aliphatic hydrocarbons is classified as alkane, alkene, alkyne, and also cycloalkanes. Alkanes containing only single bonds, alkanes containing one double bond, and alkynes containing one triple bond. On the other hand, we have cycloalkane, which containing single bond in a ring structure. And as I said earlier, alkanes, which are sometimes called paraffin, are saturated hydrocarbons in which all of the four valence bond of carbon are satisfied by hydrogen or by another carbon. Alkanes have straight or branched chain but without any ring in their structures. On the other hand we have alkenes which are also called olefins are unsaturated hydrocarbons and we have double bond in their structure. The general formula for alkenes are CnH2n, which means that the number of atoms of hydrogen is exactly double than the number of atoms of carbon. And alkynes are also hydrocarbons and they contain triple bond and the general formula for these alkynes are CnH2n minus 2. Acetylene is the simplest form of alkyne and as we said earlier we have cycloalkanes as well which sometimes is called as naphthenes and they are saturated hydrocarbons containing one or more than one ring the general formula for saturated hydrocarbons containing one ring is cnh2n let's see some of these examples on the left hand side we have aliphatic and on the right hand we have aromatic. The most famous example for aromatic compound is benzene as you see here C6H6 and on the left hand side we have aliphatic, ethane which is for alkane, ethene for alkene and ethyne for alkyne. 
So in this slide, you're going to see the most important alkanes and it's going to be top 10 different compounds we have in alkane which as you see here all of them has the general formula of CnH2n plus 2 which starts from methane which is CH4 it has one carbon atom after that we have ethane, propane, butane, pentane, hexane, heptane, octane, nonane and decane as you see here there is no branch and we have all in straight chain on the other hand, we have alkenes, and the general formula for alkenes are CnH2n. We need to be careful that if we have more than one double bond in, in alkenes, the general formula will be different. For example, if we have two double bonds, the general formula is going to be CnH2n minus 2. But here in this case, we, have, we consider only one double bond, and I listed five of them in here the first one is going to be ethane when we have two carbon atoms and the general formula is c2h4 or propane we have three carbon atoms and the formula is c3h6 and as you see here we have one double bond next one is going to be alkyne and the general formula for alkyne are cnh2n minus 2 and as you see here we have their structure name and chemical formula such as ethane propyne, butyne, and so on. So as you see here, we have C2H2, C3H4, C4H6, and so on. Let's see the next example. We have cyclohexane, and the general formula is CNH2N. We have cyclopropane, cyclobutane, cyclopentane, and cyclohexane. And as you see, for all of them, we have a ring. And these are the simple four kind of compounds in cyclohexane family. The classic example of an aromatic system involves a six-membered ring, which we call it benzene, and there are two possible chemical structures for a conjugated six-member benzene ring as you see on top so it is a resonating and we call it resonance structure of benzene that's why it is preferred show, to show the below shape now let's see different phases of hydrocarbons hydrocarbons can be as gases such as methane and propane they can be liquids such as hexane and benzene they can be in terms of wax or low melting solids such as paraffin wax or naphthalene or when we have higher molecular weight we are dealing with polymers such as polyethylene polypropylene and for example polystyrene so what are the usage of hydrocarbon hydrocarbons are a primary energy source for current civilization. The primary use of hydrocarbons is as a combustible fuel source, such as gasoline, natural gas, fuel oil, jet fuel, coal, kerosene, and propane. These are all hydrocarbon fuel. Hydrocarbons are also used to make things such as plastics, synthetic fibers, such as polyester, paint and coating, and cosmetics, and some other material. Let's see what are the sources of hydrocarbons. The main source of hydrocarbons is fossil fuels, coal, petroleum, and natural gas. Fossil fuels formed over hundreds of millions of years as dead organisms were covered with sediments and put under great pressure. So after a while, they changed to fossil fuel. So that's how fossil fuel and hydrocarbons formed. Now at the end, let's take a look to the properties of hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons are generally nonpolar. 
that's why they don't dissolve in water so their solubility in water is going to be low why because water molecules are polar and since hydrocarbons are non-polar they're not going to be dissolved in water so whenever you mix hydrocarbons with water since it doesn't dissolve you're going to have two phases at the end and then upper phase is going to be hydrocarbon and the lower phase is going to be water why we have upper phase as hydrocarbons because the density which you see it here as well the density of hydrocarbons are slightly less than the density of water what does density mean density is mass per unit volume of a substance density of hydrocarbons are usually smaller than water and the density of hydrocarbons increases with increasing mass or increasing the molar mass of hydrocarbons let's take a look to the reactivity as well so when we are talking about alkane alkene and alkyne the reactivity of alkanes are the lowest but when we have double bond or triple bond we're going to have more reactive material so alkenes and alkynes are more reactive comparing to alkanes what about melting point and boiling point we can say that melting point and boiling point of most organic compounds increase with increasing the molar mass or molecular mass of these hydrocarbons so for larger molecules we usually have more melting point and boiling point i hope you enjoyed this video please leave me a comment if you have any question and i get back to as soon as possible thank you for watching and have a great day